Hello to everybody, welcome in another video. Today we're gonna talk about my tech gear. Now I'm filming with uh, Olympus OMD that I'm gonna show you with this GoPro. So guys, check it out. So this one is a 12 point uh, 42 millimeter and uh, it comes with this tripod I really love this tripod because it's super smooth you can place it everywhere and uh, it's way stronger than the gorilla pod so back to this video so here we have the GoPro Hero 5 I really love this one. At the beginning I have a couple of problems. I update the firmware, I change the SD card, and now I don't have any kind of problem with this camera. I like it, I can use quite often with the tripod and during my ride. And I play sometimes for the onboard with the chest mount. I update, I use the Proton, I increase the stabilization, maybe I can increase a little bit more with uh, uh, with Adobe Premiere, but I don't know, maybe I have to work on it. When I can take the video from here, I'm not 100% satisfied, but overall is okay. I know there is GoPro Hero 7, the new one, but the budget is used also for traveling. Yes not just for the tech gear so while we ride our bicycle uh, we always want to have our gear charge usually we don't have any problem on the country like New Zealand but quite often when we go outside if our phone is dead in this case I have Xiaomi M1A1 same for Sori, plus she has uh, another phone, spare phone is uh, iPhone 6 plus, but the battery is dead. So usually we use this one, it's a power bank from Easy Axe, it's uh, 20,000 milliampere, so very very strong, but heavy. What I like is not the four door, but it's the, two, uh, the two doors here that allow me to charge in uh, less than 12 hours full charge but there are other things that I like is an emergency I have always this light everybody say oh but you never use I use quite often then uh, more often than I expect and then here I can see also the battery level so overall I can say 70 50 because the sorry power bank is better for charge all our stuff we have always battery charger but of course we have all battery charger with two uh, with two door you can say so like this one is for the Olympus so I can place two battery here and charge it faster and of course all our USB even this one uh, also the one for the for the GoPro. We have uh, some good adapter. This one is my old adapter. This one is a Tubobot, Tufobot, I don't know, Tufobot. So I have UK, Europe and uh, Australia, but I don't like this one. It's not stable, as you can see. So when you place on the plug, it's not really stable, so you have to be careful. Here I have uh, the main, so I can put any kind of plug. And uh, here is uh, USA, but I miss the Japanese. Oh, I can turn like this, so I have both. I just have to uh, put run like this. But so far I don't like so much because I have just two USB door. And this one is my new entry and there is no name. I love it because I have uh, three USB door plus one USB-C and I have a lot of choice. US, Australia, Japan and I just push this button behind and I can open like this 
like this, like this, and this one is always weak but stronger than the other one. And uh, here you have a couple of doors. So if you want to buy this one and support, of course, through the Amazon link, you can find this one on the description as all my tech gears. The next one is my camera. I switch from Sony A7 II to Sony A7 III. And this one is my beast. Here you can see. Why I change? Not because I like the new one, it's just because I needed a good autofocus for taking the picture and uh, the Sony A7 II was really crap. So this one is stronger, it's always weak, I don't like the screen like this, that I use like this, it's not flippable. I can use like this one on the Sony A7 and on the Olympus. So. Yeah, okay, it's good. You have a two door plus two door here, and it comes with an adapter. It not comes, I bought the Sigma MC11, and this one is the Sun in the Sigma 2105. Is quite good lens, is wide lens because 24 and a bit long lens because it's 105 24-105 but it's not bright I wish to have a uh, bright lens like in the wide for taking a picture on the nightscape so next one on this small pouch we keep all our battery cable so I'm not gonna talk about this but just about this lens this one is the best lens for Sori, but she preferred to use this small one, very compact. Is 24, no, 14, 42 millimeter Zuiko, and this one is the Olympus 1250. I like uh, the Olympus because with the um, touch screen you can adjust the zoom and the focus. Is something that you can do it with the Sony A7 III, but Sony A7 III I mostly use for taking the picture because it's too heavy and doesn't have the same stain stabilization of the Olympus. So, since it's too heavy, it's more complicated to place it on the tripod, and uh, well, I don't like to use the Sony. Another thing that I'm using quite often, not often, is the tripod. I have a carbon fiber tripod and uh, I don't like this because I have to... I like more the clip type. It's almost 1 meter and 30. But I like the head I change. It's an Amazon basic carbon fiber tripod. I don't know if they're still selling this. I changed the head, I paid quite a lot, I think almost $20 and uh, well, I have many ways to adjust the, the head, so overall it's good. Before the head was very shit and uh, I couldn't work it properly, but now it's still good. So what I used to do is use this mount is a tripod mount is a sort of protection so i can place it directly like this okay that's really good and on the sony a7 III i have also this grip it come from japan it's been three years i'm using that so this trip we did a big update on our tech gear not only the sony a7 III but also this one here inside I have the bomb so here inside I keep just a cap some uh, stuff like this spare stuff nothing really important but one thing really important is the drone so this one is the Mavic Pro it's really small and it's really light the only thing that is really heavy is the battery so half of the weight is made by the battery. I love the stabilization, I love how you take the picture, but 
I'm still beginner on this kind of stuff. I didn't use so much. A couple of clips I took it with a, uh, with a Mavic Pro. But the problem of the Mavic Pro is is uh, required time to put outside from the bicycle and uh, I didn't get really well how the follow me, track me, work it so sometimes doesn't follow me properly so mostly I use with the return to home and cinematic mode maybe while I'm in Blenheim I'm gonna train a little bit so next is my laptop this one is a VivoBook S I pay quite a lot but I really need a, a good machine for building my video and also for um, uh, adjust my picture writing doing uh, all the things I need to do I like it because it's very flat it's compact and uh, I put another accessory is this gum is a rubber keyboard that helped me to keep away the water usually when I use the laptop I drink always the water oh I drink always the water so sometimes drop some water on the keyboard and my past laptop I break the humor more than two times so I like it because it's very powerful 16 gigabyte of RAM E7 last generation and uh, 512 gigabyte of SSD so it's quite powerful I don't remember what core say E7 8555 4 point gigahertz I think it's good I bought the this one is a uh, legacy yeah it's considered the best hard disk for a traveler because it's strong he's anti-rugged and uh, well I didn't have any problem it comes with a USB-C so it's really really fast so since I have to protect my laptop during my ride, I have this is uh, Weibo. is a Chinese uh, bag. is uh, waterproof, not 100%. I think at 15, 70. So you see the water dropping down. But if you if this bag stay under the thunderstorm, probably your you will say goodbye to your laptop. So what I keep inside is almost nothing, but it's pretty good, it's very soft and uh, it's anti-scratch, I keep some cable and, uh, and I have uh, the battery charger and also my old hard disk and I put this one to, well I lost already some data so it's not really fair to keep it so next we're gonna talk about sorry stuff and now we talk about the sorry gear so here she has the power bank 20,000 milliampere uh, it comes with a battery level here it comes with a USB-C USB micro and two normal USB and one 3.0 no light for her so i don't like for that reason but i like because the usb uh, c allowed to charge it really fast she has the another laptop lg gram e5 uh, 8 generation i think 8 gigabyte 256 ssd card uh, the problem is the card reader it comes just with the normal micro card reader micro SD reader so it's not good for that it comes with two USB uh, 3.0 one jack one USB C and uh, one HDMI that's why sorry uh, she bought this one but she bought this one this USB pen with a card reader 
and micro card reader SD card reader the reason why she bought that one is because previously she had the MacBook uh, Air 11 inch so five years ago was okay now is old and is not update um, last thing and after the video finish is the bag pink bag always anti scratch waterproof and uh, well tada so she broke her uh, old hard disk and she bought like me two terabyte again lazy we consider lazy the best really the best uh, hard disk ever I hope I can keep using for a couple of years or forever without losing my data so if you like our video subscribe to our channel uh, thumbs up like like and uh, we we'll see you on the next video and uh, see you from Glennon the beautiful city of New Zealand Ciao!